Well, the latest in the Gulf of Mexico, where crews will try to today to place another containment box on the leaking well that has spewed more than 4 million barrels of oil. And we're learning more about the possible reason why that offshore oil rig blew up last month. CBS News correspondent Mark Strassman is in Venice, Louisiana with the latest. Good morning, Mark. Good morning, Harry. BP's a mulling over several options as the company scrambles to find some way to seal this gushing well. But none of those options comes with a guarantee. In fact, none of them has ever even been tried in water so deep. No one dressed like this goes into the Gulf to fish. They're cleanup crews scrubbing oil spills that have washed ashore from this well. The gusher spewing 5,000 gallons more every day. As soon as late today, BP hopes this second smaller containment box will cover the major leak, trap its oil, and funnel it to a surface ship. The more I learn about this accident, the more concerned I become. A House Congressional Committee grilled executives from four companies, each responsible for separate parts of the well, from the platform to the pipelines. Most damaging, the committee asserted a key safety device had multiple problems. The gushing well's blowout preventer, supposedly fail-safe, never shut off oil flow as intended in emergencies. That allowed methane gas to enter, possibly triggering the rig's deadly explosion. BP documents show this blowout preventer had design flaws, leaks in its hydraulic system, and a dead battery in its control pod. If the largest oil and oil service companies had been more careful, 11 lives might have been saved and our coastlines protected. As everyone looks around for answers into what went wrong, BP officials have cautioned against a rush to judgment. But there's a growing sense that there's plenty of blame to go around. Mm. Harry? Mark Strassman in Venice, Louisiana this morning. Thank you. A lot happens early on The Early Show. Weekday mornings on CBS.